All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to upgrade the stock lights in our Massey Ferguson GC1725 MB with these new LED Boa Aussie lamps. <laughs> Now to access the lights, you have to go through the hood. And you can see they're gonna be behind this plate down there. There's three bolts we're gonna take out. The two top ones, which are uh, 10 millimeter, and there's a bottom one going up, which is 12 millimeters. Now, before we get too far into the project, you wanna make sure your tractor is cooled down, especially the engine because if you accidentally slip, this is a pretty far reach to get down here. If you uh, slip and you hit any of these parts, you're probably gonna get burned. So make sure the tractor is cool before you do this. Uh, the other thing is getting down into this area. It's, it's actually quite a bit of a reach. So one tip for getting down into the front of the tractor is, in my case, I have a retail rim step, which I can step here. Then I can go ahead and step on the tire. If not, you can kind of work your way into the uh, loader frame but uh, having that retail rim step is actually quite nice for getting down into the front of the tractor. Ten millimeter for the top two bolts. Twelve millimeter for the bottom bolt. So I'm resting my hand. I think this is on the manifold. So that would be hot if this tractor was on for a while. So again, make sure everything's cool. Now the plate just comes off. Let's see how this comes out. Yep. All right. That's going to reveal where the two lights are. To remove the receptacle counterclockwise and pop out. Now to remove the actual bulb, you're gonna push in and go clockwise, it pops out. These are 1156 lamps, and we're gonna insert the same type into that socket. Here's a side-by-side -side of the new LED versus the old lamp. You can see the newer LED is just a little bit longer. This is fine because you have plenty of headroom in front of that whole light assembly. To install the new LED lamp, we're gonna go ahead line up in the slot, press it down, and then go counterclockwise. And then we can line up the assembly, and then turn clockwise. Do that for the second light, and you're all set. Before installing the second LED lamp, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the old light on the right side because I wanna see side by side how they look in comparison to each other. In the meantime, let's go down the basement and put both set of lights on our bench power supply to see how much power they're drawing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take a battery voltage reading when the tractor's on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test both lights. Here's the old lamp to see how much energy they use. So about 1.97 amps, it's about 30 watts. Let's do the new LED. It's 0.45 amps, so it's about seven watts. So 30 watts versus seven watts. closer look at that new lamp LED and uh, it actually goes really well with the styling of the tractor. Let's look at the old lamp. You can see that just looks old school. The LED is obviously much much brighter probably three to five times brighter maybe more. Let's test it out tonight and uh, see what it looks like in the dark.
right guys, I'm gonna finish up the video now. Hopefully this has been helpful for you if you're looking at switching out your stock lights on your GC1725M or GC1723E. These new 1156 LED lights are much, much brighter and will do a great job in helping to illuminate the path in front of the tractor. This is a nice low cost solution between $10 to $15 on Amazon. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested in getting these lights. All right, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.